Hey, Fire Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your uh, December 19th, 2018 love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see what we got going on. Okay. Your first card out is the Eight of Wands. Followed by, oops, that was in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Swords. So um, somebody's opening up communication with you or you are with them. Um, you could be keeping an eye on somebody. Oops. Your person you are dealing with is the Six of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. Your guys' outcome for the day is Judgment. The Ace of Wands. And the Nine of Swords. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Knight of Swords. Clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So we'll start with the bottom of your of your deck. Somebody is coming racing into your life. Um, or you to them. But somebody that you're waiting on is what I feel for this group of you. You have been waiting to hear from somebody. Um, could be an air sign or an earth sign. But you've been waiting to hear from this person. Not only hear from them, but hear the truth from them. This could have been a situation where there was three people in this relationship um, and either you cut them off or they cut you off due to no longer wanting to um, be a third, third person. Either they didn't want to be a third person in your life or you did not in theirs. You were tired of the shared energy. So you could have possibly not have spoke to this person for a little while um, or them to you. But they're coming back offering um, a new beginning, letting you know that they are um, working on uh, either getting out of a family situation or they want to build a family with you. Tens are, are an end of a cycle, whether it's the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, uh, Ten of Swords. Uh, so this they're ending a cycle with somebody that they have a family with already. And they're coming in to let you know the truth of what happened after the energy of the third person was cut off. Um, communication is coming into you very quick. These could be messages of um, love because I also see the eight of wands as uh, Cupid's arrow. So very fast moving inter um, messages coming towards you. I feel this is not from the same person, however. Could be a fire sign, could be an air sign um, that is reaching out. Um, but you have been feeling uh, insecure about something, feeling like you weren't enough, feeling like this person took off from you because you didn't have what they wanted, but it wasn't you at all. Um, so it's encouraging you to, to find that confidence again, to find and know, be self-assured that you are enough for the right person. Um, you could have been keeping an eye on this person from a distance or them to you. There's a little bit of um, spying going on or stalking, but in, not in a bad way. Um, this person is also going to, or you're going to speak the truth of how you felt as well. You may not open all the way up, but you are going to speak some form of truth about how this hurt you. Um, this person has been feeling defeated, uh, just life in general has got them down. They could be suffering from a little bit of depression, but they're just feeling like this whole situation got the best of them. They are trying to move forward. They are trying to move towards you, but they have a broken heart right now. And this broken heart could be stemmed from what you tell them. You could not accept their offer today. You could tell them that you, listen, bud, you had a chance. Um, I'm moving forward because this situation with you makes me feel self-conscious and like I'm not enough for you. So why would I want to go back to that? Why would I want to open up my heart again to someone who makes me feel out of balance, turns my world upside down? 
Um, and you could be opening up communication with them as well about that. You could tell them they weren't quick enough. They were too slow. They, you waited as long as you could wait and then you had to move on and that's breaking their heart. Um, could be dealing, like I said, with earth sign, air sign or fire sign. I see no water here. None whatsoever. Um, your guys's outcome is judgment. You telling them this could, uh, could wake them up enough to know that they're not going to let you go, that they have to offer a lot more if they want a relationship with you, but it's going to cause them a lot of stress and anxiety about it because they do want the second chance with you. This is somebody that you have dealt with in this lifetime that you were in a third party situation from. Um, the universe is giving you this opportunity. If you want a second chance with this person, um, a passionate new beginning, it will be successful. Um, but you uh, have to set your boundaries, stand your ground on what it is that they must come forward and offer because you have other offers here. You have lots of other offers, lots of other options. So um, speak the truth on how you feel, set your boundaries. It may cause them to have anxiety or stress out about it, but they will eventually come back with an offer that is big enough for you. That is um, going to bring happiness. Yeah, retreat. Your card of the day is retreat. So it's time to disconnect from the world and decide what it is that you truly want. Um, decide what the truth is for you. What do you want? What do you expect from this person? Um, so that when this person does come forward and offer this to you, it's going to be big enough and you can really build something. Um, go towards your dream with passion and excitement. But this person is going to come in very fast offering this communication about offering the Ten of Cups or about a family situation that they are leaving behind. But Spirit is encouraging you to retreat, to decide what it is that you truly want so that it can come to you now. Because right now, without being disconnected, your thoughts are not clear about what it is that you truly want. So take today to retreat. And um, decide what it is that you want to manifest in your life so that it can come to you. So, all right, Fire Signs, I hope you have a beautiful Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.